Okay, today is October 10th, 2009. This is Jessica. And we're going to go ahead and run your swing here, Jessica. I think the thing that I really like about your golf swing right now is you have a wonderful shoulder turn and you keep your right leg nice and solid. Shoulders are turned all the way and your right your knee and your right leg are pretty good. Your weight gets a little bit to the outside of your foot, but overall that's pretty pretty good. Coming down, and this is where we start to see the problem. And what you see here is this angle between the shaft and your left wrist or your right the, the set in your right wrist is coming out too quickly. Uh, we call that a cast. Okay, so if you view that phenomenon from down the line here, you see how the club comes off plane. And the club's going to attack the golf ball slightly from the outside. And you see how the club and the ball track slightly left of our intended target. I'm assuming our target would be somewhere over here parallel to our, our address. So the things that we're going to try to do is create angle on the downswing. I know you've seen this video a million times. But we're trying to create a ton of angle. So you notice the the squareness of that angle and how the angle is held deep into here. You notice how his wrist and his elbow are still bent and the handle of the golf club continues to move forward. You can see how your angle's coming out. A little different angle here. You see that? Let's look at uh, these two swings from down the line. So you notice on the back swing, his right elbow is higher than his left elbow. On the down swing, the left arm is kind of more away from his body, and then the left elbow is slightly higher than the right elbow. You see your cliff heads out. See how that is coming out. And then you'll see how he comes more into the inside of the ball. See his elbows close by his hip, and you can still see the top of his left arm. This is close. But you see what we need to do? So we worked for a while. worked on retaining that angle not only here in the studio but outside your short game you can see how your club is closer to the line attacking the golf ball more from the inside but right there you see the most improvement you can see the angle of attack you're coming too much on, up on down on top of it and you can see how this club is coming more from the inside. So we got to continue to do that. We got to continue to get that right wrist set backwards and attack the golf ball from the inside.
Anything else you want to talk about? Okay. That's it, Jess.